we're in Hawaii. We hopped on a plane from Melbourne all the way to Hawaii to the Big Island and it's crazy to me that some of these airports look like they're so open air and outside. We headed over to our hotel that was absolutely beautiful. The view from our balcony is so nice, look at this. Right over the golf course, in a really good spot. We're in a full vacation rental, so the space actually has a full kitchen, everything like that, two bathrooms. It's actually really big, and the bed is very, very comfortable, so really happy with that. Services here are pretty great. Um, like I said, the golf course, very nice view. We're headed off to do night manta ray swimming now, um, so we're going to go do that. That's it, then we get some food later, and I'll update you guys after. We're gonna go swim with Manta Rays. We've got our little dicky outfits on. Yeah. Yeah. Pray Goofy. for me. Pray for me. Show me. Oof, 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 oof. We're <laughs> um, about to go hop on the boat. Sun's setting right now. Did I have like a UV bomb? Yeah, you, yeah. you were. Mm, 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 mm. That's Not the face I was cool. expecting you to make. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> We saw a beautiful sunset on our first night on the big island and then we headed out on this tiny, tiny little boat to go and swim with the stick, the manta rays. And it was one of the most magical experiences I have ever been on. We looked goofy in our little outfits, but it was the most amazing time. I'm so glad that we actually got to go. We almost didn't, so like I've seen a bunch of people say, if you're going to go and book a trip, you need to book it at the start of your trip because there is potential for it to get cancelled. So make sure you book it at the start in case you need to reschedule it to later on. So uh, that's just something I would recommend. Anyway, we hopped in the water and I don't know why every single time I hop in the water like this, I'm so scared that it's going to be Jaws, you know, for all of a sudden the shark is going to come out of nowhere, but it didn't we hopped in it was really actually quite warm in the water everyone else kept telling us that this was like cold like the guides and stuff but this was like warm warm this was like bath water warm for us in melbourne that the water is cold in the summertime so we were in the water for about 40 minutes and i will say that the company that we ended up going with was not my first preference there were many other companies out there so really do your research when you're thinking about it uh, thinking about which which company you're going to book with. This one made me feel a little bit sketchy. If you can see there, it's just a surfboard with some uh, ropes attached to it as handles and then a battery on top uh, to make the lights work. So that made me a little uncomfy, but nothing happened to us. There were other companies that had more sophisticated setups than what we had. So definitely do your research and have a look around up to the best bit. This manta ray, we weren't even sure we were going to see any manta rays this night because the other groups, there was a few that didn't get to see any. But then this magnificent manta ray came out of nowhere and did some flips for us and really showed off uh, under the lights so you set up in sort of a chain and then they they swim underneath you and they get way closer than i ever expected them to get to be honest like i am not holding the gopro out far in front of me i'm holding it next to my chest and that's how close the manta ray was to me so I definitely recommend this experience it is a once in a lifetime and i loved it so much here's us looking goofy as per usual being shocked by this amazing experience he comes back one more time we were hoping to see uh, amanda ray she's pregnant but we didn't get to see her that night unfortunately anyway we're out for a while there's the sun setting behind us and then we headed back to the boat and headed back to our hotel for the night uh, and we got some food it was such a big day of traveling because we traveled all the way from melbourne and then from honolulu over to the big island so we needed some food and some rest <laughs> so we're trying L and L Hawaiian barbecue today. We've got. Can you help me? I don't know. Barbecue mix. Oh, there's there's potato pasta salad. Pasta salad, and that's weird. Interesting. Oh, sauce. I don't know what either of these are. I think it's tomato sauce, maybe? I don't know, it looks less. And then we've got chicken katsu, again with the pasta salad. And then this one was the healthy garlic shrimp. This one is the one I can smell. Yum. Food. Mm. Okay, well, that's a garlic shrimp, for sure. What do you, what do you got? I was just eating the pasta. Oh, and how's pasta? It's good. It's not tangy or anything. Mm -hmm. Sort of like a plain mayo. 
rice is sticky. Oh, we got brown rice and white rice. Let's go try this sauce. Oh, that's um, it's like mayo, but it's kind of different. A piece of katsu chicken in it. Mm. That's just um, chicken sizzle. Mm -hmm. Bit of um, is it beef? Yeah, I think it's like a barbecue. Like, shade me That's like. nice. It's not blowing me out of the water, but it's not bad. But what did you get? A big tub of sauce. This one? Mm. And if it, mine's not bad. Mine just tastes like absolutely nothing. It's just like beef and steamed vegetables. You turn it to And you. rice with no flavours. You want to see? I've watered down tomato sauce. So it's just beef. I put mayo on it, but like the beef is like unseasoned. Unseasoned broccoli. Meh. And what's the yellow vegetable? I don't know. What is that? I'm kind of just going to eat it. Looks like a carrot, to be honest. Maybe you try it. Carrot. This is. It's a carrot, I think. It's just like tomato sauce, but kind of watery. It's like carrot, but kind of really sweet. Tastes no, what you like. It tastes the same, but it's pork. Yeah, it does taste. It's definitely got the same seasoning on it. I do like the seasoning though, I will say that. Mm. Putting a bit of salt on some things. Barbecue chip. Mm. Mm. Tastes pretty good. Oh, yeah, two lots of chicken. Oh. Can I please try a cat two piece? Yeah. It's just, just bread and chicken. Just bread and chicken? Yeah. <laughs> Just a chicken schnitzel. Mm. Not it's bad. not bad though. Yeah. And then this is like a kind of a mayo, but it's like a bit different. I think that. Mm. Um, yeah. We'll just throw it in there. I'm gonna try the beef. It's actually not like it's not bad. I'm being. I was being dramatic. It's just I was expecting it to be more like flavory. Not bad. Oh, it's just. It's just plain. Mm. It's just plain beef. It's just sad. This beef has more flavor than that. Okay, well that's our experience of L and L Hawaiian barbecue. Um, not sure we'll get back. <laughs> Loving you 